listeners and subscribers hope all is well so here we go i understand what just happened over there in new zealand and there's other stuff happening all around uh, the pond really if you if you take a look and you want to be able to convey that to people okay you're more you're more adept at some of this stuff you you're more informed and you want to be able to tell your loved ones your friends and family just what's going on maybe to prepare them for something that's coming because they don't realize it right if you're trying to convey that to your loved ones there's an approach that you can take okay because I think that if you're giving someone a set of evidence or proof people are entitled to a different conclusion based on that set of criteria you're putting forward okay those who consider themselves awake and again if you're a regular you know why I have a love-hate relationship with that word uh, but those who consider themselves awake often find themselves frustrated when trying to win over one of our lost brothers and sisters out there for many it's because uh, you awake folks are trying to essentially force old sheepos to understand or see things you know the way that you do and you know that's just not going to happen you have a, a set of evidence uh, that goes against the standard model and in some instances proves an impossibility in certain stories you know whether you're talking about something like uh, vaccines you know 9 11 jfk you know, pick your poison uh, you you've got a a set of evidence that goes against the standard model now how do you get somebody else to see that all right uh, we're not trying to force the other to to believe like us you know rather to to appropriately question or examine something a little closer when it appears just dodgy or spotty right the proverbial smell test in my experience it seems easier to ask uh, do you believe that this is a potential scenario or outcome or can you see why i see this as a potential scenario or outcome based on this set of evidence uh, we can't deny the facts but we are entitled to come to different conclusions okay and a lot of times it can basically be whether or not you ask hey do you agree this is a possible conclusion based on this set of evidence and working your way up from there i understand that uh, again this is not about force you can tell someone two plus two equals four but the the fundamental understanding of why typically typically it occurs internally okay now this is what i want to illustrate some people can sometimes only see one thing no matter how much force but what you're doing is providing them the evidence in this case the picture so they can eventually see it for themselves okay maybe you've heard of yanni versus laurel some people can only hear yanni some people can only hear laurel 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 uh, but what you've done is presented them with it in the first place okay look i hope you're picking up what i'm putting down all right because i'm making a point when one of you more adept folks out there again uh, are trying to convey a far-reaching topic like you know i don't know this this new world order we find ourselves in trying to convey that to one of those sheep out there uh, be bopping around you might get a little further than usual by implementing a more tactical approach and and hopefully bringing them into the fold you know we we were once that sheep we were once that sheep out there grazing in the field, completely unaware, okay? And we've got to be able to bring those guys into the fold, sitting on top of a bunch of knowledge and, and being unable to some way articulate it uh, to somebody that could benefit them in some way. If we can't do that, what use are we, right? You know, many people talk about solutions and what exactly are we supposed to do in situations like this. A big part of it is inoculating people with information. A big part of it is starting a conversation. Okay, also, another part is changing your approach. I know it's not popular to say that you might be approaching people uh, in the wrong way, but, you know, sometimes we have to look at ourselves. Uh, like I said, we were once that sheep out there unaware. We can do better than this. We can bring more people together if we don't fall for the divide and conquer campaigns. We have to understand that when we're talking to somebody else, not everything's going to change in one conversation. Sometimes it takes a series of conversations, so don't let the first one devolve into something that uh, is unreconcilable. Try to aim for the constructive dialogue. Try to build each other up. You know, really work towards this goal of fighting against the spiritual warfare because that's what really the divide and conquer is part of the, the biggest part of it is spiritual warfare because it gets in inside the minds of the people. Okay, the they warp people's perceptions. They do the psychological uh, warfare and the campaigns and initiatives that are aimed at to putting the person against the person. And we know that our, our wrestle is not against flesh and blood. We know that there's more nefarious elements to that. We're better than this. That's why I keep saying it. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there. California Carter, signing off.